Montana is playing a huge role in the recent explosion of indigenous fashion worldwide. And one Montana woman has made it her mission to lift others in the industry up. Worldwide success on the runway from New York to Paris Fashion Week for many indigenous designers can be traced right back to Cora Chandler, an Aani and Cree entrepreneur originally from Fort Belknap, the founder and producer of Big Sky Indigifest in Billings. We want to provide a festival feel for our indigenous people to come together and showcase their artwork. Much of the art showcased on the runway on 150 models via handmade cultural couture and ready to wear fashion lines. I started three years ago at this particular show. This show was the opportunity to start and launch my, my business. Since that first show, it's been a pretty amazing journey. She just did Swaya in Santa Fe. The models come to Montana from all across the U.S. to hone their skills. If there's a That's slit a in the leg, leg, you go and yeah. Even break into the indigenous fashion industry. We had a free modeling workshop that hosted over 80 models from all over Turtle Island. From the Native Max modeling workshop to the popular business symposium, it's an event launching careers, changing lives. Take Cherry Creek. A lot of our indigenous youth are coming up and starting their new lines. Devontae Whiteman is going to be launching his first line here at the show. And we also have senior designers. And so we're providing that mentorship type and really wanting to, you know, open the doors and showcase all the work that we can do in Indian country. The opportunity Chandler has brought to Indian country nationwide has not gone unnoticed with her recent appointment to an important fashion collective based out of Los Angeles. We offer the grassroots perspective because we're rural. I think it's important to bring our northern tribes to the table because we provide a lot of beadwork, a lot of our designs with the ribbon skirt. It's gone viral. <laughs> In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.